see this this is a prime example of the kinds of assumptions that interfere with our ability to build productive contexts for dialogue on YouTube. I'm I'm deeply disappointed. Um, but you know, to try to advance the dialogue, I'll I'll just clarify. I'm not going to get my undies in a bunch because I don't own any. Okay, and now we can all move on. Um, ignorance, ignorance. Um, <sighs> the word ignorance is frequently abused in these contexts. Um, let's say uh, we have a conver uh, we're having a conversation, and you throw the name of a theologian that you um, uh, uh, you throw uh, throw the name of a theologian at me that that I've never heard of, and say, "Well, uh, have you read uh, have you read so and so?" And not as a kind of you know like a ha, -ha one upsmanship, but just a you know it, this guy is a useful reference point for what we're talking about. Um, and I'd, I'd say, well, no, I'm, I'm ignorant. <laughs> That's, I'm, I am, I'm ignorant of that author's works. Or you could say, well, then you're, you're ignorant of that. Okay, you're ignorant of that author's works. It's not a denigrative word. It's, it's simply a statement of fact, and it refers to familiarity with data. Period. Period. Not conclusions, except as co conclusions constitute data. Um, it is not a reflection or a description or a comment on the quality of conclusions that somebody draws and cannot be, should not be. Um, if, only, uh, if only because the second we start conflating information exposure with ability to draw conclusions from that information, um, well, uh, the entire uh, the process of education, the process of dialogue, um, uh, information transference, is skill building, collaboration, all of these things basically fall apart. Um, because uh, because there is a, a fundamental misunderstanding at that point between um, information exposure and information derivation, between well, um, learning and thinking. <sighs> So, yeah, and I, I do find it I, I do find it frustrating that um, ignorant is used as frequently as it is to indicate that somebody disagrees with the conclusions that you have drawn. Um, it's not helpful. It's not constructive, um, and it does it, it does kind of form um, a a non theistic version of of uh, love the sinner hate the sin. Um, and runs into all of the same problems, <laughs> all of the same problems that 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 phrase does. So, I guess uh, the other uh, the other thing, other than you know, my fondness of going commando, my um, my uh, irritation with the way that the term ignorance is generally abused. The other uh, other thing I'd like to uh, uh, throw in, uh, throw in here just to wrap us out. There comes a point in a well-rehearsed dialogue when I know the talking points, you know the talking points, when we just run out of talking points. You know? There comes a point when the people involved have run out of script pages. And at that point, they are presented with a choice. Although I would contend that the choice is presented, the choice is available from the very beginning. They can flip back to the first page of the script and start the whole thing over again. Never mind the ridiculousness of, if at first you don't succeed, say it louder this time. <laughs> um, I, I find it I, I find it very ironic that um, persons of all creeds, nationalities, and backgrounds um, use YouTube to to enthusiastically mimic the ugly American stereotype. You know, the guy who 
the, the, the guy who assumes that if you say something in English loud enough, anyone from anywhere with any language background will, will agree <laughs> or assent. Um, the, that's one option. Um, another option, uh, another option is abandon the script entirely, um, take off the gloves and start swinging. Um, like, I read my script, and yet you were not convinced. Obviously, you suck. And things go from there. Um, or, the option, the option I prefer, and one I'd, one I'd really strongly advocate people try from the start, screw the script. It's not that good of a script. It doesn't merit one performance, let alone who knows how many. Screw the script. Um, yes, talking to somebody within the referen uh, within your own set of references, within your own self-structured arguments, and with a militant, militant, self-correcting, self-observing process in play, wherein you are, you are not just avoiding consciously following the script, you are consciously avoiding following the script. Um, running through, uh, running through what you were about to say before you say it and thinking, okay, is that actually, are those my words? Are those my words, or is this just force of habit kicking in? It's challenging, but much more rewarding. It's much more interesting. It's much more engaging for the participants and for the people watching. So, uh, on the other yet another hand we're approaching we're getting into hinduism at this point with the number of hands that we have and here the, the, the real irony is that this point that we're making right now has been made so often and with such um little effect that it's almost becoming a script in its own right so i think Maybe we need to figure out a new way of saying this as well.